Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 12 different tips and tricks that will help you improve the battery life on your iOS 26.1 device. Now the release of iOS 26.1 of course brings new features and changes and there is also a slight improvement on battery life but if you think that the battery life on your iPhone is not as good as it should be then just follow these few simple tips and tricks that will help you improve the battery life a lot. Now first of all I know a lot of my users have actually installed the betas of iOS 26.1 so in that case what you need to do is always make sure that you have the latest update installed if you have been installing the betas of iOS 26.1 make sure you check the software update page and make sure you're on the latest release and not on any of the betas of iOS 26.1 so you should see here the RC if you're on beta then of course you install it and you're good to go you have the final release of iOS 26.1 on your device. Now with the release of iOS 26.1 we have a feature that actually we have been asking for years. You know on the lock screen of your device you can slide from the right to the left to actually invoke the camera of your device. Now that feature is sometimes really annoying it will just basically open the camera by accident most of the time so that of course will just consume a ton of unnecessary battery so i suggest that you turn that feature off and you can do that now on ios 26.1 by going into the camera settings and then as you can see right here at the bottom we have lock screen swipe to open camera you disable this that way that feature won't work anymore and your camera won't just be opened by accident moving on to the phone settings now we have also a new setting here that has been added with the new ios 26.1 so if you go to the phone settings under the app section if you scroll here you will find something called haptics now by enabling this you will get a haptic feedback whenever a call is connected or dropped now if you're someone that makes a lot of calls during the day those haptic feedbacks will consume battery now it's a cool feature it is useful of course especially if you make a lot of calls but just know that those haptic feedbacks will of course turn on the haptic engine that way consuming a ton of battery Another thing you must know is that when using a wallpaper on the lock screen of your iOS 26 device, you will have the spatial scene option, which is pretty cool. It gives that nice 3D effect to the wallpaper of your lock screen, but that does consume a ton of battery. This is another option that I suggest you keep off on your device, especially if you have an older device or the battery is old and it's not actually giving you a really good battery life, then I suggest that you go ahead and turn on the turn off the spatial scene from your wallpaper. Now with iOS 26, Apple has added a very cool new feature called adaptive power. This is something that I suggest you use on your device you can find it under the battery section so just right here the power mode you will find adaptive power now this will basically adjust the performance of the battery on your device and your iphone that way giving you a better battery life this is actually a really really great feature now if you have it enabled i also suggest that you enable adaptive power notifications that way you will actually be notified whenever your iphone is using the adaptive power mode now another thing I suggest you do on your device, especially when you update your device, in this case you're updating to iOS 26.1, is make sure that you update your apps after you have updated your device to a new iOS version. This is really important as most of the popular apps will actually send out updates once a big iOS release is out. That way you know that those apps are more compatible with the new iOS version and of course will work better 
and also consume a less battery. Now, what you can also do is head on to your settings and go under the apps section and then go to the app store. When you go to the app store here under the automatic downloads, you will have app updates. You can enable that that way your iPhone will always automatically update your apps without you having to check for it and do that manually. That way you know that your apps all, all, are always up to date. Now, when it comes to apps, another thing you should check is the usage of the battery from your apps. So head on to your settings, go under the battery section, and here will have the battery usage. Now you will see here a list of all of your apps and the amount of battery that they have used. Now, of course, you will see here apps that you use daily, use them the most, that is okay. Those apps that are used the most, of course, will consume the most battery. But if you see here apps that you know that you use very little, maybe just like once a day or even less, but they're still up here and they're using a ton of battery, then something might be wrong with that app. It's probably poorly coded and it does drain the battery. So in that case, I suggest that you completely remove that app from your device and just, of course, replace it with another alternative from the app store. Now, another thing that I'm doing lately on my device that I think will help is turning off Apple intelligence completely. Now here, if we go under the Apple intelligence section, you can see I have it turned off because I don't actually use it. Maybe I will use it every once in a while, maybe once or twice a week, but I don't have it turned on at all. Now, having this turned on, of course, it will work in the background, always trying, like, of course, to do stuff, give you replies and all that stuff. But if you don't actually use them, make sure you have it turned off completely. Another thing you must do is check the widgets that you're using on the home screen and the lock screen as well. Now, here we have a calendar widget, which is OK, of course, it's very simple. But if you have something like this one from the stocks that does update all the time, then of course it will consume a ton of battery. What I suggest is that you use only the widgets that you actually need and that for the home screen and the lock screen as well. So you know, every widget that actually displays things that have to be updated like weather, something like that will always be active. That way it's always consuming battery. Now, earlier I talked about the new haptics feature on the phone app, but also the other haptics that you get on your device are really important, especially if you get a lot of calls, a lot of notifications and messages, having the haptic feedback turned on all the time will consume a ton of battery. Now, right here, if we go to haptics, we have a section here for haptics and you will have a few different options. Now I have them turned off completely on my device, but what I think is the best option here is to use play in silent mode. This means that you will get a haptic feedback when your device is on silent mode, but you won't get a haptic feedback when the ringer is on. So that way you get basically the best of both worlds. So when you're on silent mode, you still get notified by haptics. And I also suggest that you use low power mode on your device whenever the battery is really low. I know low power mode will actually slow down the iPhone quite a bit and it's not as good as without low power mode, but in the cases where you have really low battery, it does actually work and it does work really good. It will actually extend the battery life of your device quite a bit. And last but not least, we're moving here to the Siri settings, but not here, but under the accessibility settings. So there we have Siri. If you go here, you will find something called always listen for, you know, the word. Now, I'd suggest that you keep this turned off completely. Now, what this will do is that it will keep Siri active, always listening for that command. And this will happen if your iPhone is in your pocket, if it's laying face down on a table, it's always actually active. Now, this won't turn off the feature. 
it will just turn off the feature when your iPhone is facing down or in your pocket, which is actually super useful. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are a few simple tips and tricks that will help you improve the battery life on your iOS 26.1 device. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found the tips helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and of course, subscribe for more videos and I will see you on the next one.